On immigration, she was interesting. She had a little bit of both here. Listen first when she talks about, the woman said, what about President Obama? Gentlemen, I'm sorry, said President Obama is the deporter in chief. Would you stop that policy? I mean, the, the horror of a father or a mother going to work and being picked up and immediately whisked away and children coming home from school to an empty house and nobody can say where their mother or their father is. That is just not who we are as Americans. So there she's saying she thinks uh, fewer people already here who are working, who are not doing anything wrong after, they, obviously they broke the law to get here, but they should be able to stay. But listen to this. We've had this crisis in recent days of all these children mm -hmm. stacking up in detention centers at the border. On that one, Hillary Clinton took a much tougher line saying, no, they can't stay. They should be sent back as soon as it can be determined who responsible adults and their families are, because there are concerns about whether all of them can be sent back. But I think all of them who can be should be reunited with their families. That one there, I think the liberals are going to say, hey, wait a minute, right? Yeah, I think so. And this was one example, I think, of, uh, uh, from this town hall of her either taking both sides of many different controversial issues or being extremely cautious. But yeah, I think you're right. I think that uh, after saying in one breath that the president should have more leeway on this issue and should be more sensitive to families and then taking sort of like a harder line that you might hear from like a House Republican and the next breath was actually pretty striking. Well, she doesn't want to be seen as uh, somehow enabling the sort of surge of, of, of illegal immigration mm -hmm. across the border. But I think broadly watching that interview, John, I, I am struck by the fact that she is running to be the nominee of Barack Obama's party in 2016, not Bill Clinton's party in 92. This is a much more offensive, unapologetic brand of liberalism than I think her husband practiced. And it reflects how the country has changed and how her, her party has changed. Right. She's wrapping up all these interviews with the book tour now. It'll be interesting, Peter and Jonathan. Thanks for coming in as we get back to New York. It'll be interesting to see. Let's look a month from now to see if these numbers change. I just want to give you, as we get back to you guys, uh, these numbers from the NBC Wall Street Journal poll. Is Hillary Clinton knowledgeable and experienced? 55% of Americans say yes. Uh, here's a problem. I think one of the reasons she's out there publicly now trying to change this number. Is she honest and straightforward? Only 38% of Americans say that. If you're going to run for president, you've got to boost that number up. She's got a long time, and she keeps trying, reminding all of us she's not yet a candidate, John. Uh, yes, she is. <laughs> Thank I wonder you. how it's high a politician can go on that honest and straightforward. Like, what do not you think? This environment. That's right. What do you think the top number would be? That's a good question. You think you get to fifty? It's a good point. It's a good point.